Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about deploying Win32 specific applications. When I say Win32, uh, the applications that have uh, EXE or uh, EXE specific installation, for example, uh, a setup.exe file is available along with a huge source and you wanted to install that uh, because of the uh, because of the uh, conversion is not possible for you to convert to MSI or MSI X format and the, you wanted to choose the uh, Win32 uh, specific application. In that situation, you're going to use the Win32 specific application mechanism uh, for creating that uh, mechanism. It's so easy uh, you need to go to the Microsoft in once you're in the Microsoft Intune go to client apps and apps uh, click on add uh, this will uh, show you what of uh, what type of app you want to deploy so in the previous lectures we did uh, work on built-in apps as well as the line of business applications nothing but your MSI uh, uh, files but in this case we are gonna work on exe based applications uh, to begin with this if you can you know look at uh, read this uh, specific note what it gonna say is as on date of this recording uh, which is in August 2019 it's not supported that uh, the applications if it is already deployed with the Win32 mechanism uh, when you try to retire uh, any of the application or wipe uh, the device it's not gonna automatically take out those applications so you need to plan those applications to manually remove from the uh, personal devices or the company devices or bring your own devices on the users uh, machines or users uh, devices so that way you're gonna securing your applications also so think that uh, uh, one of the uh, loop back of this uh, issue and then you need to uh, actually convert I'm gonna you know uh, not show I'm not going to show you everything now right Abby because I just wanted to give you some idea and the, some challenges uh, so that later point you know we're gonna actually uh, deep drive into how to do this uh, the current problem is if you see here um, the app package which is nothing but nothing but these are the application source um, what we have as a date for example I wanted to deploy maybe uh, I wanted to deploy here uh, Acrobat Reader so what I do is normally I would have a source uh, and I have a setup.exe file which get uh, which can be installed by using setup.exe file but such kind of an you know, application if you want to deploy you can do it uh, from the win32 um, mechanism uh, what happens is you need to convert this specific application uh, if you can you know look at here when I try to actually open up that folder it's actually coming up win to win uh, in tune win format uh, in tune win format so this in tune uh, win format is the only option so you I need to have a file called in tune win format file uh, so that it, it understands um, the entire um, background uh, format of uh, the package source and how it's going to actually install to get that or to convert your existing your existing uh, package for example in this case Adobe uh, format file you need to convert that into uh, into a win format and then uh, you can deploy that so in our case we don't have that so let's cancel this um, uh, steps actually and go back uh, to conversion process once we were able to convert it we can actually deploy that uh, this is a link actually uh, which is available on github uh, the specific file which is nothing but in tune uh, win app utility and uh, this has been also pasted here uh, in the uh, in tune resource uh, node uh, you can download this uh, as the zip format and once the uh, zip format uh, file is available you can extract this uh, we have downloaded here and simply I'm extracting with the help of winzip or 7zip in this case and uh, there should be one exe file inside uh, extracted folder which is nothing but your uh, intune uh, intune uh, win app utility uh, since my uh, since my uh, uh, folder has a lengthy I'm just uh, renaming to Intune uh, app uh, so that it's it's easy for me to you know uh, give uh, now if I change to the directory and type uh, the Intune uh, win app utility.exe question mark it's gonna uh, show me you know how this is uh, gonna help me out like this will be 
gives the information slash hedge as well as if no options are given like Q what will happen all that uh, different parameters are coming up now as a next step what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually call the utility and when I call this utility it's gonna ask uh, it, it it is going to be asked three different questions the first question would be the source folder and then the setup file which is going to be executed and the output folder so I did actually uh, given here three of the nodes uh, for example the first source folder would be this is a folder because that's where my uh, source files are available here if you can see here uh, under um, under Adobe uh, you have the entire source so this is a folder which I have to give in so I'm just giving here as a tease uh, in my command window as this folder and the next step would be it's gonna ask me hey what's this set of file so remember that uh, if you can you know go back to my source file I did actually create a batch file to automatically install uh, like uh, the setup.exe um, with the uh, s and all this is the command line which is going to be executed automatically and this delta dp0 is nothing but uh, it will actually change to the current folder path uh, that's one of the batch uh, trick which we can you know use it but in our case you know uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, uh, the installation uh, if you look at the high end if you are the batch scripter or if you have ever you know worked with any of the scripting you know that uh, in this case actually whatever it is asking is the set of file the set of file you think that it should be uh, installed on bad but it's not the case actually it should be the actual file uh, actual file would be the setup.exe which will actually call in the background as MSI so I need to give here in this case also MSI format uh, so I need to uh, give that file name which is nothing but uh, uh, accru read.msi in this case which I'm gonna uh, select this entire file name and paste it here and uh, now it's gonna ask for hey or whatever you said is right now uh, the information is enough for me one would be the source as well as the installation file that's good now I'm gonna create for you the output file uh, which is uh, in tune uh, wing format uh, so give me the folder where you want me to keep it so that's the last question it's gonna ask so in my case I'm gonna actually uh, put it here if you can check out here I don't have here anything so I wanted to put it here the output of that uh, format of the file so I can give this uh, path and I can hit enter a later point so here just select it and I'm gonna hit enter this is going to create it, uh, uh, you know, if you can look at here, the percentage is going on because this process is nothing but a wrapping process. Uh, packages knows this word wrapping. Uh, once the wrapping is completed, it uh, gives you a message as it's done and uh, this is a file has been created. Let's go back to the folders and uh, have a look on it. If you can, you know, look at here, uh, this has been become as a 50% five or 53 MP of the um, source if you can you know go back and check the total size of uh, Adobe folder which is 105 and it has been compressed to a lesser of uh, lesser format this is called wrapping file now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually uh, distribute this specific application uh, in our uh, in our uh, Intune portal so for doing that I'll just go back here and browse the application and simply give this uh, one uh, file click OK now that simple Intune of wind file has every source every source it has everything including our uh, folder has this install dot batch file which also available there I'm referring to all these files are already available inside this Adobe uh, uh, our Acrobat Read uh, dot Intune Vim format. So now it's going to ask for the configuration part. Hey, it says that uh, it has automatically detected if you can see, and it says that Adobe Reader X is the application name. And what is the description? Uh, so the description uh, could be one of your uh, Acrobat Reader X uh, with uh, any of the version. And here I can give the uh, Adobe is the publisher name and category this could be a productivity relevant application 
and uh, remaining all of these specific settings are optional in fact so I'm just skipping them and going to program so if you can see here it's automatically detected installation command line along with the um, uninstallation uh, command line if you want to use this uh, since the MSI has automatically detected you can use this method or you can also use your um, since in the background it it has already uh, have a batch file for example uh, assume that this batch file has other steps to automatically uh, automatically to execute for example in that situation for example post to this you are executing or you're performing some registry uh, configuration or some shortcuts replacement such kind of you know script which is executing with your batch or with your command line or with your powershell script in that situation you can directly give that script name here so that it's gonna uh, execute so in my case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give here instead of the msi uh, command line I'm going to give here as the install.bat uh, information so that should actually accept here uh, and then um, uh, for the uninstallation anyway these are the information which is coming from your MSI uh, this is nothing but your product code so you can use this method uh, for uninstallation if at all if you have another batch file you can give that batch file number batch file name too but in our case that's just fine here the, for the installation and uninstallation purpose uh, you can click on OK now the requirements comes uh, if you remember uh, in SCSM you have the requirement like what kind of operating system what is a disk space uh, what is a memory uh, all that kind of you know very similar configuration is gonna ask you here for example the architecture should be 64 bit and minimum operating system should be whether it should be Windows 10 1903 or 1709 or we can configure here 79 as the minimum and the space is required for example 500 MB uh, and uh, re uh, and also for the physical memory and number of logical processor all these are the optional configurations but you can also configure additional configuration requirement if you are interested for example uh, a file a specific setting uh, or a registry specific setting must be uh, exist so that only it can be installed this specific application so this is very interesting uh, all these settings because these are very similar for your application deployment method in SCCM similar configuration what you are uh, trying to do it but in our case we are not performing anything here click OK that would actually configure the requirement and now the detection rule so how you're gonna detect this specific application uh, really exist so you can give here if the application is available it's gonna actually uh, say that uh, my MSI uh, should be available as this MSI product code should be available as this uh, that is one of the uh, uh, detection method otherwise any of the file path or can be a registry key uh, all that can be you no know, given but in my case I'm just fine with the MSI because uh, that's more uh, relevant and more uh, confident way to you know take it out the product code because the product code never been changes uh, for any reason unless you change your MSI or unless you change the product information and that's it uh, click OK that's a detection rule click OK now we are good to create a win32 app and click add that's gonna create the application if you can see here it's still just uploading this entire 53.94 MB so it all depends on the internet speed and the upload speed once it is uploaded you can actually work with this application for assignment until that it says that a hey, this application is not ready so we know that this is not it ready and um, once this is uploaded we will go back to the assignment and we will assign required users so in this case uh, it's just uploaded so I'm just gonna refresh the console uh, so that it's gonna pull up uh, the relevant information properly correctly now I can have the option like add group uh, this is where I'm gonna add um, as a required application for a specific user set uh, or a group for example in this case I'm just wanted to, to apply the specific application for all uh, finance group um, I can give here all finance users uh, need to have this specific application example I can simply and also if you can see here the uh, toasted notifications which is also important if you want to hide everything or you want to show the all the notification uh, or just the hide the notification but uh, only for the computer restart to be you know shown that kind of you know configuration can be done this is very similar for 
uh, a CCM a software sign to configuration uh, if you are uh, coming uh, from the SCCM background and the click OK that uh, way you are configuring this specific application uh, that's it and uh, click on save that's gonna create your uh, legacy application or win32 uh, specific application and you are good uh, to deploy that specific application thank you for watching this